This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. So there was this announcement from Stability AI that they have released Table Vikuna, which is the AI world's first open source reinforcement learning with human feedback, large language model, chatbot. Okay, quite big claims over here. Uh, so they also have a demo. So let's quickly check out the demo and then come back to some specifics over here. Okay. Uh, so there are some good things about the demo. There are some things which don't work. Let's go into each one of it. Okay. First to start with some of the good things. Right. So this is the hugging face uh, space demo of stable Vikuna. So I asked over here, can you write a poem on machine learning? And this is the poem which has been generated. Uh, it's quite nice. Okay. A data, data everywhere, but how do we make sense of it all? Artificial intelligence to the rescue for understanding it is the only choice. Big data can be overwhelming, but with AI it becomes clear and bright. It can be used for predictive tasks and make decisions before it's too late. Machine learning is like a tool that can help us understand what we feel. It is becoming increasingly popular and it will be here to stay. So data, data, data. Machine learning is uh, here to stay. It's time to take advantage and let AI help us every day. I like this poem. Okay. Uh, so this was quite a good output. So this is the interface and here you will type a message and say send and the response is generated and you can continue your chat. Okay. Let's look at another use case, which I said, explain gravity to a 10 year old. So here it says gravity is a force that pulls everything towards the center of the earth. It is what makes things fall down and not float away. Without gravity, you could stand upside down on the ceiling or float around in the air. It is very important part of the world we live in. I like this response as well. Okay. Now let us look at a response which did not work well. Okay. So I asked like, who are you? It says I'm a stable diffusion model trained by carper.ai. Ask me anything. I thought I said, I thought you were a helpful digital assistant. I can be both a stable diffusion model and a helpful digital assistant. Ask me anything. So here I said, can you generate an image based on the following caption? Then it says, no, I am a text based model and cannot generate images. I would have expected it over here itself saying that I'm a text based helpful digital assistant. So yeah, here the response is not what I expected. Right. And then you have these use cases like where I want to write an email introducing a product. Okay. Where I give some product details like this, and then it comes up with a neat uh, email structure and with some very good details on the product. Right. Um, so here it says that we are also introducing uh, launched in only diesel version, but we will be introducing a, uh, what do you call a petrol version in the future. So it comes up nicely saying that we are also introducing a petrol version of the Harrier and a seven seat version. Okay. It takes these lines and combines it in a very nice way. So I liked how it has written this introductory mail based on this particular text over here. This text is about a car and its features, right? So it has done it quite well. Okay. Uh, the Harrier range has expanded with the introduction of the diesel auto version. So you have that line over here. So it has actually taken that and it has put it over here. So it has done that job. Okay. So this is another good output. Uh, there is another good output where I gave the same text and asked it to write an exciting ad. Okay. So it says attention, all car enthusiasts introducing the Tata Harrier, a premium five seat SUV. That's unlike anything you have seen before. And then it goes on to explain the features in a nice way, right? Best part, a seven seat version. So why wait, visit this thing. So even this use case, it has done a good job. All right. Then let's go into this use case of say explaining the math behind linear regression. So here it does a um, breakdown of the basic equation and then it ta uh, talks about what is M and B, right? X is the independent variable. Y is the dependent variable. B is the intercept. Okay. M represents the slope of the line change of Y with respect to X. And it explains this. Okay. Then you have this, uh, this thing. Okay. So where I said, I have a pound of iron nails and a pound of feathers, which is lighter, which says, sorry, I don't appear to have enough context. Could you provide more information on what you are asking for? So maybe I'll ask like, you know, I have a sack with a pound of iron nails and a sack 
with a pound of feathers which is lighter which is lighter in weight both are same let's see what is hmm. iron nails sack is heavier than the feather so the iron nails is heavier than the feather so a pound of iron nails is this is a problem for all chatbots that they are not able to do any kind of reasoning right that's why this response is poor over here okay uh, now let's look at one more use case uh, this is a math use case so i said i went to a shop i bought five pens for a total of rupees 50 10 pencils for a total of rupees 25 five erasers for a total of 20 how much did i spend in total so the answer is 95 50 plus 25 plus 20 right but here it says the answer is uh, you know 105 okay then i said the answer is wrong can you think it step by step then it says that to calculate the total amount you need to combine and you, you need to add up the cost of pen pencils erasers and it puts rupees 50 for the pens rupees 25 for the pencils rupees 20 for the erasers and it says total cost is rupees 105 again the addition is gone wrong but if you look at the reasoning it is done per cost um, cost of each amo, uh, each of these items um, you know per um, item cost it does all those things but then the total is wrong so i asked him i asked it again like what is the sum of 50 plus 25 plus 20 again it says it's 105 right some of these things can be improved i believe uh, by introducing some kind of uh, you know parsing when you are parsing this response by introducing instead of completely generative but introducing some kind of script into it like your uh, chat gpt plugins right uh, by you know understanding that this is a arithmetic problem and probably you need a python script to solve it by passing these parameters that would give you better results okay so these were some of the use cases which i tried with uh, uh Gink face uh, stable vikuna one more use case probably which i want to try is like writing code right because they say over here you can ask it to do math uh, you can ask it to write code you can ask it to help you with grammar right so maybe i'll ask it to write a code to write a python code to expose a method as and rest api let's see whether it makes use of fast api or whether it makes use of some other library okay python ah it uses flask over here import flask is equal to name app root user okay nice uh get user with the user specified name okay yeah kind of gives you some kind of code over here okay um so maybe now uh it explains this code also what each of these lines mean right now let's go into uh, details over here uh so what have they done over here uh so what they have done over here is that it is a further instruction fine-tuned and uh, reinforcement learning with human feedback trained version of vikuna 13 billion parameter model which is of instruction fine-tuned llama 13 billion model so this is also based on llama so this cannot be used for commercial purpose because of llama license okay so basically it can be used for uh, things like what we are doing now right and uh, this is the performance of uh, you know vikuna uh, whatever the stable vikuna versus all these things based on llama okay and here they claim better performance compared to all these models because uh, of using this rlhf pipeline right and what data set did they use for fine tuning or further train the vikuna they use the open assistant conversation data set they use gpt for all prompt generation data set and alpaca data set okay and then uh, we use trlx to train a reward model uh, first uh, initialized from our uh, this thing supervised fine tune model on the following uh, data sets again how have they done the reinforcement learning with feedback so they have done it on the open assistant conversation data set the anthropic uh, hhrlhf data set okay helpful harmlessness uh, preferences of the assistant uh, this has uh, you know this particular data set 
and Stanford Human Preferences data set. Okay, so yeah, so that's how they have done it. So you can download the weight delta for stable Vicuna, but for running the entire thing, you need the Llama model, which you have to apply again for Llama weight separately. Okay. Um, and they also are talking about their chatbot interface over here of how their chatbot uh, would look like in the future. Okay. Uh, yeah, for the time being, you can try uh, this particular hugging face uh, space. Okay. That's about some of the details of stable Vicuna 13 million parameters. So, in the future, I'm expecting uh, maybe stability AI to launch. Uh, something like a chat GPT, you know, um, what do you call competitor with stable Vicuna and other models from stability AI. There are some other large language models also from stability AI. It's good to have competitors in this space. The bummer here is that uh, this cannot be used for commercial purposes, I believe, because of the license regarding Llama weights. Maybe it is time that Meta you know, uh, creates a proper license for Llama weights for commercial use because the amount of people who are, you know, either um, they have pirated the Llama weights or they have come up with fine tuned versions. I think it makes a good case now for Meta to release Llama weights as completely open source. But I don't know if that's going to happen. For the time being, you can try out this, uh, you know, hugging face space for uh, stable Vicuna. You can try out over here and see how it works for your tasks. I hope this video on stable Vicuna is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.